Hey Aliupa and welcome to my big Swedish adventure. I'm riding the length of Sweden from north to south. In the previous episode, I continued my obsession of lupin flowers. We made it to the sea, yay! But unfortunately, it was time for Mikkel to go home. Boo! Moron. <laughs> How'd you sleep, my friend? Yeah, like perhaps not as good as the other nights, but still good. You're so close. It's almost all packed up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just keep smushing. That's how you do it with bike packing. You just keep smushing. See, ya. See you later, buddy. There he goes. My new Swedish friend. It's always hard for me to say goodbye. It is, even if I've only known somebody for three days, I really develop a connection and Mike's a good guy. And uh, I know I'll see him down the road. That's how this works. Thank you, beautiful campsite next to a lake with pizza. All right, bike, let's go have a great day. It's a beautiful day to have a beautiful day. Look at this sunshine. Have about 700 miles to go. What do you think about that? Almost halfway too. No crashies, no flatties, no whammies. And just like all of my days when I'm out on a bike adventure, I don't really know where I'm going today as far as where I'll end up. I'd like to ride another 90 to 100 miles and we'll see where that puts me. I don't know, it's all part of the adventure, the unknown. My knee really hurts in the mornings, but it seems to get better and I hope that's the the pattern here going forward. I don't want this to slow me down to the point where I can't get the miles I need. But a uh, little ibuprofen does the trick, a little stretching. <laughs> it should be good. Ole, 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 ole. <laughs> good morning, Lupin Flowers. How are we doing today? So I was riding by pretty quickly and I look to the left and I see some classic American cars. Check this out. You don't expect to see that in Sweden. What a beautiful car, you know, and I'm not even into that, into cars, but man, that is a sexy looking car, man. I've heard that there are groups of Swedes that are way into old American muscle cars. I just found some of them. Little taste of home right there. A little taste of old school home. My dad's era. He always talked about cars like that growing up. The 55 Chevy. Stop 
just to listen to the birds, check out the lupins. Good morning, cows. I am on a skinny road out here right now, about the width of a bike path, no traffic. This is the good stuff right now, wow. So I've seen these signs in different places on my route so far and I looked online and there's a route called the Sveria Leiden. There's lots of routes actually, bike routes all over the country and it looks like I'm back on one for a little bit. So the Sveria Leiden is a network of bike touring routes all over the country. It's not just one from top to bottom or across from west to east. It goes everywhere. And I appreciate a country like Sweden that develops safe bikeways so that people can explore by bicycle. Because as we all know, not all of us, a lot of us know, seeing the world on the seat of a bike is really nice. And it's the perfect speed, nice and slow. Out of the woods and into a town. Good thing about the towns is there's always a bike path. Always. You'll notice these apartments here behind me and pretty much every house has like an enclosed outdoor patio. And Swedes love those places because they can use them all year round and still kind of be outside even when it's super duper cold. Look at that car stop for you. Thank you. Sveria Leiden. Still on the Sveria Leiden. I'm going through Sundsvall now, which is a pretty big city. Once again, very thankful for the bike path system here. I'm really liking this Garmin. This is the first trip I've ever used it on and the detail is incredible. It's really easy to follow these directions when you're in cities where there's lots of left and right turns all the time. And it's solar powered, which is really cool. It lasts for a long, long time. I only need to charge it like every three days and I'm riding like 10 to 12 hour days. Check it out, Ikea. That's Swedish if you didn't know it. You can always count on overpasses and tunnels in a city. Here we go. Ole, 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 ole. There's a nice echo in here. Great acoustics. Sundsvall. Okay. Making our way out of town. And Mikael yesterday told me that Sundsvall is considered like halfway down Sweden. Yay, halfway. And I have been on the road now for a week. I started last Thursday. Today is Thursday. Happy Thursday, everybody. I'm outside of my favorite grocery store again, and today I just couldn't say no to the Hooklaud. Bolle, the chocolate ball. These are so good and they're simple. It's just like oats and chocolate and some coconut and sugar and butter and it just melts in your mouth. It is so good. Mm. All right, it's time to get out of here. <laughs> it's taken quite a long time to get through the city and all the little towns connected to the city. Time to go back out into the country.
flower therapy always helps. More than anything, it's just sometimes good to just get off your bike for a little bit and take a deep breath and just listen to the wind blow through some leaves. <sighs> There's another Sveria Leiden sign. The Sweden Trail. I'm on it. Sun is shining. We've got some dark clouds. Hopefully it won't rain today. We'll see. I'm feeling pretty slow and sluggish right now. Maybe it's that big old chocolate ball I just ate. <laughs> weighing me down, making me feel slow. Or maybe it's the fact that I've been hammering for eight days straight and the rainy muddy days were extremely physically and mentally taxing and my body is finally like, whew, take a break, man, just chill. So I'm slowly working through this as I pedal on this beautiful road, thinking about life, thinking about how grateful I am just to be out here, to be able to do this, to have a strong enough body to pull this off and all the fancy gear to do it and these cameras to share this with you. I mean, not every moment on a bike tour is rainbows and puppies. And right now I'm just kind of blah. <laughs> but that's just like life, you know, not every day is awesome. Not to say that I'm having a bad day by any means, but I'm just feeling like I'm having a hard time pedaling. But around the corner that could all change. There's a lot of ups and downs in this. That is for sure. I've done this enough to know that. I just found on the side of the road. You can't leave that flag there. Oh, look at that. It's the Swedish flag. Maybe I can get that onto my bike somehow. That'd be fun, huh? Okay. I think that might be the best place for it. It's not uh, perfect, but it'll do. I love the Swedish flag. I love the colors, and I have lots of these flags at home in Boulder. Let's see if I can get that all the way to Malmö. Swedish flag power. Hope it looks good. Is it flowing in the wind? Kind of. All right, let's go. <laughs> I gotta give that little flag a home. It can't just sit in the ditch like that. I am in a tiny town now, and I stopped at the grocery store to get a little snack. So I got some cold vitamin water. It's pretty hot out. I'm guessing it's like 75, <laughs> maybe a little bit warmer, which really isn't that hot, hot compared to what I'm used to back home, but it feels pretty warm here. And I got myself a Magnum ice cream bar. These things are so good. And I've just had a bit of a blah afternoon, so I need to just sit and chill and have a treat. Treats make life better. Whenever you're out on a bike tour or doing something difficult physically, just stop and have a treat usually turns things around. My pedal's starting to crack. I hate little creaky noises. <laughs> Look at that car. Yeah. Seen two classics today. Whew. Oh, come on, pedal. That's going to drive me nuts. <laughs> Something just stopped me in my tracks and it's the Swedish flag in my disc brake. <laughs> oh, 
man. Come on, sweetest flag. You're supposed to make me go faster. Not slow me down. Man, that is jammed in there. Ugh. So I had to flip my bike over and take the wheel off. It was jammed right in the disc brake real tight. Couldn't pull it out without taking the wheel off. And now the flag has been severely defaced. I'm sorry, Sweden. I'll find a better spot for this. I knew it was trouble putting it there, but you win some, you lose some. The Lupin Highway will lead the way to water and a great place to camp. I'm riding next to this lake. I saw it on the map and I'm just scanning for like an open area to camp. Trees, trees, trees. Oh, 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 this looks like it could be promising. Oh, hey, what? There's even a dock here. Oh, I am totally camping here, even though it's on the side of a road. That looks pretty good to me. Oh yeah, and an old ancient Viking stone table and bench. Ooh, let's see how far I went. 96 miles, not bad, I'm good with that. <laughs> Real good. Ooh, what a day, man, what a day. I'm feeling good. Had a bit of a, bit of a low earlier. And now I'm feeling better, especially now that I'm going to get wet and clean off. Oh, here we go. Oh, <laughs> oh the water is perfect. Woohoo! Yes, yes, yes! Well, I found my water. And this is a perfect lake. Oh. You know what it's time for? My pre-dinner treat. Look at my cute little Marabou chocolate. Da, da, da. I wonder how old this table is. I mean, it's made out of stone. It has lichen growing all over it. Could be pretty old. <laughs> and now it's time for a veggie wrap I bought earlier. In the evenings, I can exhale and relax. It's, uh, it's nice, you know? And I'm sitting over here watching this son and his mother sit and fish and talk. And it reminds me of my mom. We do a lot of stuff together. I'm very close with my mom. We don't go fishing, but we do lots of other fun stuff. So I always love seeing a mother and a son hanging out and just spending good time together. And uh, this lake is just glassy. There's actually more bugs tonight because there is zero breeze. Last night we had a pretty good breeze, so no bugs. So I've got my, my bug jacket on. And uh, I'm about ready to sleep, you know. I slept well last night, but I've really only been getting about five or six hours of sleep every night. I think it's a mix of jet lag at the beginning and then just getting on a... A bad schedule so I'm hoping to get seven or eight tonight because I need the recharge I could feel that I was slumping today and sleep plays a huge role for me in revitalizing my body and my legs are hurting <laughs> I've done a lot of miles my knee hurts so uh, I need some of that that good old sleep Hello there, and thank you for making it to the very end of this video. You get a high five. I am here to say, hey, thank you for watching my videos, but also, if my videos bring value to your life, if you love them with all your heart and soul, or even just a little bit of your heart and soul, please consider joining my Patreon. You will help keep this channel alive, but you will also get stuff. You will get early release videos, with no ads, which is very cool, 
and I sometimes do Zoom calls with my patrons. You will have direct access to me through Patreon to ask me any question you want. And like I said, you're keeping this channel alive. And also, hey, I wrote a book. It's called The Long Way Home. It's about my very first adventure from Honduras to Colorado, and it talks a lot about how it inspired me to live an interesting life, to say the least. My mom loves it, so maybe you'll love it too. I will link all this down below. But more than anything, thank you so much for watching my videos. You are awesome. Now it's time for you to get off that couch and get out there.